One second. We need to take a break. Oh, speaker's on. Okay, let's roll. All right, I'm, I'm pulling you up now. Hi, Kiwi. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Okay, how about that? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, how's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? How you been? <laughs> how, long oh my been God. Since we, how long has it been since we got together? About four weeks? It's actually a month today. Oh, a month um, today? Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, Happy thank birthday. you. Thank You're you. what, 29 today? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, let me pull up, let me pull up the comments so we can I can see what's happening. I am the sun is kind of so you decided to schedule a show on your birthday. I know. What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I had, a, I had a breakdown, a meltdown last yesterday, like extreme, and I thought, how am I gonna do this? And then I woke up today. You had a breakdown. What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, just cosmic meltdown. Um, just some stuff, old stuff needed to go and yeah. open up for the new energy. Yeah. God, I, I, I got, uh, I, I actually had it start about two, uh, what, what time is it? Maybe four hours ago. Yeah. Real slow. And then during this last show and after this last show, <clears throat> it's like, I could see all these numbers coming in. Oh wow! Three six nine and some geometry and then some information. I mean, I can't even think about it because my head feels like it's gonna explode from the inside out. <laughs> That's a wonderful download. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, electrical yeah. impulses in my joints. Oh wow! Yeah. What about yeah. you? What was that meltdown? Was it just strictly oh uh, some stuff that had to come yeah, some self doubt that came on because last week was really intense for me. I literally experienced a six month relationship with a man in four days. Now what? And now what <laughs> yeah, what seriously, happened? I connected with somebody last Sunday mm -hmm. who lives who lives in another country, and we both fell in love with each other. It was just like lightning speed escalated. So and you had six months in four days. Yes. And then on the 12th, it was like, oh, I guess it's over. And so it, it was like nine and a half weeks or uh, <laughs> what's that other thing called? Shades of gray? No, shades no, it wasn't shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's interesting because uh, that happened to a lot of people for a long time. And mm -hmm. I guess it's still happening. But I know I know you used to hear about it all the time. You yeah. Know, people falling in love every every week with somebody else and uh, you know I, I wonder if it has something to do with the soul recommend uh, recognition it uh, could be i mean that's that's what was definitely really strong between us and um the thing is at the end of it i felt stronger than where in the past i might have crumbled into dust if it ended you know where i'd fallen in love with somebody and i felt more empowered and stronger in my truth so i felt you know, he came into my life as a blessing to help me to recognize some things in myself and to like set something out into the world, you know, in a stronger way. Well, was it a bad breakup? Y'all just both went, oh, No, we, no, we're absolutely done. not. You're no, just like, we're done. No, there was this huge energy shift that happened and he couldn't come forward with me and I had to go on. Yeah. So, yeah, it was almost like I was saying goodbye to an old 
way of the divine masculine so I could start uh, to embrace the new divine masculine. Here we I'm go. so excited. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Valerie yeah. says that Facebook slipped it on the notifications. She didn't see this until she went to, to my page. Um, oh, okay. I put it on my page. Um, page yeah, too, no, so. these are, uh, but this is what's happening. Yeah. Uh, there, there's every time we start to roll a little bit, they suppress us again. I so know. That's what's happening. They're not really slipping. They're just, we're not there. Yeah. So if you can share, um, you know, if you can share to your page or to a group, that'd be cool. So we stay above these algorithms. I Eon, put it out to about eight groups uh, today. So, oh, very cool. <laughs> very cool. You know, Eon, before we, oh, go ahead. I was going to say something real quick to what you were talking about. Eon Boldy says, and others finished a two years beautiful friendship in a split of a second. Yeah, well, I think this is where the linear doesn't apply. Go ahead. What were you talking about? Yeah. Well, before we go on, I just want to say something to you, Todd, just to mm -hmm. honor you and the path mm -hmm. that you've chosen on this planet. I mean, you blow me away in the strength and the truth that you stand in and the love that you are just pouring out every time we see you on screen and in your posts and just honor you. I mean, I mean, I'm just so moved by your presence. So thank yes. you so much. <clears throat> well, thank you. You're very welcome. And I just have to say that I ran into a similar situation that you just went through. Uh, and uh, the wounded masculine showed his head and she took off and I went with her, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I can come on here and be more balanced and more expanded <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's because of my relationship. And, yeah. you know, ultimately it's me. But, you know, or it's you or it's Morgan or whoever it is, it's the individual. But <clears throat> there is something to be said. And whether it's uh, four days, six months and four days or whatever the case is when we produce, even if it's temporary, you know, yeah. um, a uh, physical incarnation of our opposite ginger, gender, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it teaches us a lot. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I mean, but yeah, thank you for saying that. And, Welcome. You know, it's uh, it's been a long road, and I looked I look for all of us to be making some uh, <clears throat> major strides in the next uh, this next year, and mm -hmm. even really uh, as the weeks go by, I think January is going to be huge. Oh, I do too. Yeah, just like lightning speed, everything is moving so fast right now. Ever since, yeah. for me especially, since the end of October, I mean, I got my book done. I wasn't even planning to do it, and all of a sudden, it was just like, just do it, get it out there. And, uh, and this time I am prepared. If you do want me to read a poem, I can. <laughs> you read one last time. And no, I you, didn't. I wasn't ready. Then you I sent couldn't... me one. It was very erotic. <clears throat> Why didn't yeah. you read that one? We would have got shut down on social media. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> and that wasn't even one of the more erotic ones. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, your, uh, yeah, but your energy from this show uh, compared to the one 30 days ago, it's totally different. Is it? Yeah, I, uh, 30, you were, you were like, okay, it'd be like, you know, how, um, you know, like if you're under the covers and you like <laughs> poke your eyes out like that, you were like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and now, and now you have the sun beaming on you and you're wide open and, uh, and you're also can see it on your face. Your, your whole oh, disposition. Yeah. Especially oh, I was just, terrified. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you, but you broke through, man. Yeah, I did. You broke through. You're, you're, you know, you're just, you're getting it done. And when I woke up this morning, I felt really strong and empowered and like not even scared anymore. Cause I usually get really nervous before something like this. And I didn't feel that at all. Just excitement instead. Yeah. So well, that I was huge. It. I can see it on your face. And I've seen people do this, <clears throat> but I'm telling you, since, since that last show, you went, you, you just went off, man. You were like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> So that's good though. This is good. And mm -hmm. it also, you know, to me tells me that our shows all of us. Sometimes when we walk through that that big door, all these little doors fade away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's Definitely. like it's like knocking over the biggest domino. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's a beautiful thing to see. It's energetically looking at it, it's it's where we're all what we're all doing. You know, it's it's a perfect uh, physical representation of it. You put out a post. I think it was yesterday or today. No, yesterday or the day before. 
It's pretty deep. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the one on transcendence? Yeah. 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 That has been the post that has touched most people, meaning, I mean, it's gotten a lot of hits. Yeah. It keeps getting sent all over. That's yeah, good. I was just, I couldn't stop myself. I'm like, okay, I have to say this. Yeah. <laughs> I know I asked you this last time. What part of the country are you in? I'm in the Midwest. I'm up in Wisconsin. That's right. You're a yeah. cheesehead. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're a cheesehead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what was the, the, you know, inspiration for that post? Was that just like a cumulative thing that you had to get off your chest? And I don't know. It's like, I, sometimes something comes to me when I'm sleeping and I'll just write notes and I'll get up the next day and I'll look at it and then it'll be more expanding. And I mean, some of those posts take me three or four hours to write. I just sit down and then wow. something more has to be said and something more. And I just... I don't know. I just had to be unleashed. And a lot yeah. of people have been thanking that's, me for that post and just really moved by it. Yeah, that's so. that's the impression I got. Is it, it like it was like something that had been building, building, building. It was it was well put together, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, yeah, you know, like it takes a while, right? Like I had a post sitting up here for two days and I had another one. I think I just lost it for two days. But I look at them and look at them, look at them. I don't typically put them out that quickly. Morgan can go into the bedroom, come out in seven minutes, and and there's a post this long. You know, mm -hmm. like, how do how do you do that? You yeah, know, I mean, it's a uh, it's interesting. Uh, yeah. So so this this thing that culminated in this post, it was almost like your own manifesto. You know, hmm, I never thought of it that way. Well, I mean, like <laughs> you 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 were laying it out there. Yeah. Right? yeah. Well, it just felt like challenging people and saying, hey, it doesn't have to be the way it's been. We yeah. can finally shine our light. And if people can't handle it, it's like, so be it. I'm not hiding it anymore because yeah. I've done it for far too long and it was crippling me. And I mean, there was a couple of years where I felt in and out, I was going in and out of the suicidal thoughts because I wasn't being me. I wasn't being true to me because I was so afraid of people not loving me or, mm -hmm. you know, hating me or, you know, shunning me because I've been shunned so many times when I peeked out, you know, from behind the covers for a brief moment, I'd be mm. shunned. And this time it's like, I don't care. Well, I can't handle thing. my light too bad. <laughs> that's the thing too, energetically, peek, when we peeked our eyes over the top of the covers, you know, they could see that tentativeness mm -hmm. you know uh, it, you mm -hmm. know it's like different like going into the jungle or the woods yeah it's a, it's a fear-based thing and that's really where this this matrix uh the love the, you know the element of control came from who can right. who, who had the other one intimidated you mm -hmm. know but now you come out now and you're blazing and what are they going to do i mean what happens with 99 percent of bullies anyway you 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 turn your energy towards them and tell them you're not afraid and they go away that's true yeah. But, you know, there's also that inner bully that hasn't yeah. let us shine for the long time because we took everyone else's advice or whatever, you know, we made society's idea of who we should be important. And yeah. I mean, how many times have I tried to fit in in my past? And now it's just like, well, why should I have to try to fit in? Maybe they should try to fit in with me or something. I'm not asking that, but, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not going backwards anymore. So how does it feel? And good point. And I'm with you on that one. I am so. But uh, how does it feel to break loose? How does it feel on a personal level to throw the covers off, jump out and start <laughs> singing, dancing, hollering? You know, and uh, how does it feel 30 days later? Oh, my God. Like, how do I put this into words? <laughs> um, well, first, like my, the top of my head's been blown open and my heart chakra is so wide open right now. And I'm just feeling everything flowing through, you know, like a constant Harold Scamas experience is just mm -hmm. rising and rising and rising. And I mean, I'm starting to have people visit me in, in my dream state, yeah. wanting me to work with them. And I do need to get some sleep. So I'm hoping they can start coming during the day. <laughs> now, are they, are they incarnated people that you're seeing in the, in the dream state? Yeah. They're not, not ghosts or anything. They're, no, I got you. I got you. But so yeah, are, are they aware that they're coming to you? 
I don't know if they are yet or not. That's cool. But I'm I'm aware of them because I'll I'll wake up and I'll feel their presence in the room and yeah. I'll either do the light language for them or I'll just embrace them. Wow. Yeah, I think something's going on here. Uh, probably since the twelfth. What is it? Six days, seven days. Mm-hmm. But uh, something's going on with the dream state. Like oh yeah, like uh, the <laughs> the the vividness of the dreams are are you know there's more clarity there uh there's more recall and the and and uh the what am i trying to say the the realism Mm -hmm. uh, is is more intense too and one of the the, one of the the uh um other things that's happened to me is over the last week or so the dreams have involved always morgan and that's not always Mm -hmm. been the case like I know we're working out there or doing stuff like that, but to have dreams and actually she'll be in mm-hmm. from time to time. But over the last week, it's been like every night and, yeah. and, 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 and my kids, my six kids. Yeah. That's been going on for at least a, a week. Yeah. So something's happening. That well, the lot, energy. Yeah. That veil between mm-hmm. awake and sleep state, as we call it as humans, maybe that's part of the veil. One of the veils that's dropping. Oh yeah. Most definitely. And the lucid dreaming is getting stronger too, which I guess is the same thing with the veils yeah. dropping. Yeah. So I'm hoping yeah, today you'll invite me to do the light language because something has really shifted in this last week. It's, did you do light language last time? No, you didn't ask me to. Oh my God. That's because you're <laughs> doing this right here. <laughs> yeah, you just tell me. I'm going to do light language. <laughs> I want to do light language today. Do it. Yes. You want to do it All now? All right. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Just take a deep breath and I invite all beings of divine love here to be present. Kuna sevi na kiloi inate kuva ni aze ni avinaki. Oi ni avale ina kitai ze ni voi ina sha. Kunai le i vale kinai kiata. Umai ve kita sina sho tuza na vale kiava. Le nu avinai kita se. Kuvale i kane ina se wu. Ajuna Zekia Kinate ina ula me vi kanya ta ze ki oya vale uja ne kizani ki kalava ku alani avala kuzeniata uja ni ki valina unate kulava ni sate kunale uja ni sa ki avuna vuna. Vuna ki ali ni tiazoi a ujane ki ale kunaina uva ne ikatizai toi iva.
was there was there a specific message to that do you know or do because some people i ask and they don't know and some people do well for me it's always just pure love but yeah it's just an invitation to open and receive the love that you are yeah yeah it's like the divine feminine because i'm you know i'm i'm balanced but you know i'm in the feminine body so divine feminine is calling out to that divine masculine too to step forward and dance with us again yeah don't yeah, be I like, afraid <laughs> i like this comment valerie put up from mary magdalene the male in order to return to itself requires assistance of the feminine mm -hmm. the intelligence of matter itself Mm -hmm. The masculine must enter the dark, moist abyss of the feminine feminine principle. The old masculine was threatened by her darkness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's I sexy. agree. <laughs> Such some sexy soul, sexy <laughs> stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I, can, I can I can relate to that. The energetics of that. There's a. Uh, some funky lights on your wall what is that <laughs> those are rainbows i have about 50 or 60 sun catchers out here <laughs> so sometimes i get over 2000 rainbows in this room wow wow so what and how has your how has uh, your well how's your life changed in 30 days i mean because you've gone through a huge shift here oh you've you've you yeah. just you've just thrown down with the devil and said to the f it i'm coming to the party i'm here and if you don't like mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. you can leave yeah because i have a lot of friends on facebook that are from a long time ago and for a while i was really afraid to come out and really show myself and now i'm like if you can't handle it you don't have to be my friend you can unfriend me and i don't care anymore i just I'm just like loving myself for the first time, really, wow. and accepting myself and how I show up and hoping that in doing that, you know, anyone I meet will also be able to receive that in themselves, you know, and know that they are, it's just pure love. Yeah. And there's nothing to be ashamed of anymore. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore, right. you know? just dance with that light in us and and the love that's in us yeah that's right <sighs> makes me emotional <laughs> it's all right there's nothing wrong with that so have you have you had any call you out or anything probably not right no it's no too powerful not yet I mean, it's it, you know people stand in their truth well, what are people going to do well actually there was one person when i first started doing it and she went away then so yeah yeah. Never, never to be returned. Did she, did she have concrete boots on? I'm kidding. No, she was actually somebody from one of your shows. I won't say who it was, but one of my shows. <laughs> oh, you mean you're talking about in the last 30 days? Yeah. In the last. Oh, yeah. somebody came at you. Yeah. I mean, like, so like, and like throwing rocks at you. Um, I don't exactly know what it was, but it felt really angry. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I must've triggered something in her. Isn't, isn't that a gift, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, really what happens when somebody stands in their power and it's not too shadowed and it's not too egoic and, you know, mm -hmm. there's some semblance of balance, you know, because you can see it when a person does it. Yeah. You can, you can see when it happens. So you've just had a huge rebirth. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm on the 12th, especially from the time I woke up in the morning until the time I went be to bed that night, I felt like I was a different person. I'm like, is that possible? That can happen in one day. But I had shifted so huge. And I mean, I was just like this all day. The energy was in me. And, and yesterday, the same thing happened where I was like all day inside and shaky but i was guided to a, a live you know light language with a combination of the song amazing grace and i did it so you did amazing grace yeah and i didn't see of, that one how many videos do you think you've done in 30 days um you've done a few haven't you i've done at least 10 yeah and i last week i couldn't do any because the energy was just i was barely you know staying on the ground for the couple days <laughs> really well when you experience a six-month relationship in four days it's like Whoa, do i have time to eat do i have time to breathe <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> That's amazing. But it was powerful. And I am so grateful to that, that man for showing up in the way he did. What did you, what did you learn most about yourself? Um, that I don't have to lose myself in a man anymore is one mm -hmm. of them. And not to be afraid to speak my truth when I don't agree with everything he says. And not afraid to not afraid to tell him you don't agree. Right, right, okay. right. But I, yeah. I, if I didn't, I didn't say it in a, in a mean way or anything. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even feel like I had a challenge. I just, I would guess I would just ask a question instead. Yeah. And um, you're having a conversation. And the other thing that came out of that, plus a new friendship that I, I have now with another divine masculine who also is in Europe. And uh, wait a minute. So you had two? No, one was mm, uh, more. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other is a friendship. Mm, no, that's how well, they, that's how they it, start I mean, sometimes. Yeah, some, but what I learned from both of them and I, what I felt they delivered to my doorstep in a sense is me having this really strong remembrance of my time as a temple priestess, more than one lifetime too, and how I had mastered the art of Tantra and all that. And that now it's not that I have to bring it through in the form that I used to, you know, I don't have to do those big rituals anymore. Mm -hmm. They're unnecessary in this lifetime. And, but that I am bringing that through now in the light language. Yeah. I don't have to keep that off separate anymore. It's coming through and, you know, it, the men can react to it because it's quite powerful and that's okay. I have no judgment of how anyone receives this. I can be with a man or woman. It doesn't matter. And I just hold them in that sacred space of love and, and whatever, whatever they experience is beautiful. Yeah. Right on. And so now you, been, oh, uh, go ahead. No, I go started ahead. like on messenger I, for, for friends only so far, I've started giving those little one minute, you know, light language transmissions that you allow oh. that one minute on the voice recording. <laughs> oh, you're, you're sending the, uh, the uh, audios. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. When I'm inspired. So, so you said you were going to what, sing Amazing Grace? Oh, you want me to sing it? I can sing it if you want me to. Well, no, I just, you mentioned <laughs> it's a great song. No, I did yesterday when I they, did. No, no, I know, I, I know. I'm oh. just, I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I think that'd be cool if you're up for it. Oh, oh, sure. <sighs> Acapella. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved and set me free. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now. I see it was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious let grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come. Tis grace hath brought me safe thus far. 
and grace will lead me home. the grace how sweet the sound that saved and set me free. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Was blind, but now I see. Man, we need to put you in the, come bring you down here to the south and put you in the Southern Baptist churches. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm shaking. No, that was very good. Wow. <laughs> Especially to just do it like that with no music. And I just, I actually, it. I can't sing it with music. <sighs> I just threw then, it on you. I threw it on you at the last second and you just jumped yeah. right into it. Yeah. I, I have like sang that. that song well over a thousand times in my lifetime. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, they got tears and goosebumps. That's what they're saying. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and um so you're doing so you're sending one minute audio light languages to people mm -hmm. yeah just i bet you've had some... a lot of traffic too in the last 30 days oh my god it's i feel like i'm working all day long now and i don't even have a time a time to actually completely respond to a lot of people people other than some hearts and you know yeah. other emojis <laughs> yeah uh, that reminds me too i'm glad you brought that up because i can see i just got to say this real quick because i'm 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 running on fumes i don't know what's going on with me but candace candace cohen uh, yeah. uh three or four or five or six other people that are sending me stuff about getting people on uh don't send them to me <laughs> and if i tell you send them to me send them to morgan because it might be months before i get to it mm -hmm. yeah. but candace uh she had a guy wrapped out some of her uh lyrics and we'll get him on and a couple other people i can't remember mm -hmm. all the people that hit me up in the last few days but yeah i wanted to say that thank you for reminding me so uh yeah you must have been getting hit a lot uh, and you know what? I think it's important because this is what happens when people step out. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get some attention. I've also got some creepy attention from men, too. <laughs> I've had to block a lot of men in the really? last month. I've never had to do that before. And all of a sudden, like, OK. <laughs> like, oh, you mean like they're sending pictures? Oh, like sexual attention. Yeah. And, and then not, you know, in the old divine masculine way. <laughs> I wonder what that is, though, you know, I wonder, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. You know, I mean, I, I mean, every it just seems like at this point in the game that that would be not as much of a uh, uh, as, as present as it may have been five years ago, 10 years ago. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm sure that there's a lot of males struggling with losing that part of them. That mm -hmm. false power that came from their own um, appraisal of their sexual prowess or manhood or whatever, but it's all going away. Mm -hmm. It's 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 got to be stripped off. You know? Yeah, I mean, I've had even some guys like immediately call me on Messenger, and I'm like, I, you know, no, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. not not unless you have want to work with me and set up an appointment. I'm not interested in just you know, talking to somebody that hasn't even said hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but, you know, I think that is going away. And not only is it going away, because I've talked to some brothers, all right? And I thought I was going to lose my mind, because I've talked about this over the last year, I guess, year and a half. And uh, 
you know, that part of it has to go. That false mm -hmm. sexuality, that false uh, uh, performance, uh, all that stuff. Even, even guys I've talked to that are in relationships and have been in this relationship for quite a while, they're starting to notice and go, wait a minute, things are changing. Mm -hmm. And the thing about, and, and, I, and the thing I've noticed too, is there's been at least two or three scenarios that I'm, I'm certain that they went like this. And the reason they went like this, not that they might not come back, is because of the sexual issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you talked about uh, what these two guys brought to the table for you which is really two physical incarnations of your divine masculine, you know, mm -hmm. maybe not wholly, but parts of it where you were actually able to have a conversation and ask questions and challenge and not mm -hmm. agree. Mm -hmm. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and not, and so it's energetically, it's the same thing. We have this pattern of expected sexual performance and behaviors, right. That mm -hmm. the men with the patriarchal impressed upon us, the men assumed that role. Of course, they were in the power, so they weren't going to resist it. And then the feminine energy just was subservient to it mm -hmm. and just yeah. did it because that's just what men do. Thing. But mm -hmm. now it's changing. Now it's mm -hmm. changing. And, and I, you know, and I'm not speaking so much about the physical intimacy as I am the energetic impact of that. Mm -hmm. that, is a, that is a huge representation of the core of the shift. Yeah. Oh, How yeah. do we approach intimacy now? How do we approach it? Well, when I say two men, now one of them is going to be continued to be a friend. And I, you know, to protect his privacy, I'm not going to say his name, but. What's his name? I, and I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not, not unless he wants to be known. Um, and yesterday morning when I was going through that meltdown, I mean, he's in a whole nother country across the pond, right? Uh -huh. And he held me in the most beautiful sacred space and just allowed me to wail. And it was, I felt so blessed. I had never experienced that with a man before that could stand in his strength and truth and honor that I just needed to melt down. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I feel like I have graduated. <laughs> well, me, meaning that, you know, to me, that was definitely a representation of what's going on inside of me. And, and yeah, now. Well, you know, uh, uh, and the, and the thing is, that's a really good example when I think about it, because, of course, we're coming from two different paths. Um, but you really, you know, it's weird. I know this is weird. It, you really can't, if I look back at my life, you can't, you can't hold that space for a woman. You have to be fully present. Mm -hmm. So if your libido is, 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 is on, uh, flipped on the on button, or if you have any other type of non-present thing going on, such as I want to go play basketball, I want to go do this, and you're not really locked in with her, uh, you can't do it. And mm -hmm. she then and now will pick up on it. Mm -hmm. She's going to know. So this is really weird because on one hand, you have the masculine who was programmed a certain way and identified with his, his uh, manliness by whatever mask he could put on and convince others, you know, for his sexual prowess and all that. And, uh, and he was lying to himself. And then mm -hmm. on the other hand, you have the feminine energy that was suppressed and that basically accepted things. And well, she was lying to herself. But right. now she stepped into like what you talked about. She now is without inbounds saying, hey, you know what? I don't agree with that. And so this is where now mm -hmm. the, the, the hot potato has been thrown on the masculine again. Right. What are you going to do with it? Just like you told this guy or, or what happened? You, you, mm -hmm. you said, I've, I'm shifting. Uh, if you want to stay there and play in that old sandbox, go ahead. But I'm, I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I've been celibate for a long time by choice. Not in the beginning, but eventually by choice, because I knew I had some stuff to work through. And I, whoever I'd bring into my life wouldn't be able to stay because, I mean, sometimes I shift so quickly that I, I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I tried to get my website done, and, but I'm not the same person that started that website. So mm -hmm. trash that one, start another one. Mm -hmm. I still don't have a website up because of how many times 
I've shifted over the last, especially after over the last 10 years. It's, it's been quite intense. I know. So, <laughs> but I, mean, I know at, this. Soology, year. Soology doesn't have a website. Soology doesn't have product. It's been going on eight years. <laughs> But it's kind of the same thing. And you know, it's okay. That's the whole point. It's okay. We're mm -hmm. working on the, uh, my, my beloved brother who's working on the tech side of stuff. And, you know, men have a tendency to like create pressure, like create a deadline. You know, mm -hmm. it's a patriarchal, create a deadline. Mm -hmm. You, you got to get it done in eight to five and Monday through Friday. <laughs> and, uh, and I tend to uh, do that. And I noticed he was doing it. And, and I'm like, dude, just, you know, it's going to happen when it happens. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's going to happen when we, when we can uh, uh, at least obviously, you know, detaching from the linear thing is probably that in detaching from uh, the apparent separation of genders mm -hmm. are the two hardest things that, that we'll be able to, that, that'll, we'll come across. Mm -hmm. But if we can at least take the pressure off of ourselves that the linear puts on us, that's a, that's a, that's a big step. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if I think someday websites are just going to go by the wayside anyhow. I think it's all going to go by the wayside. Yeah. I, I mean, to me right now, everything I'm doing is just through Facebook. And if, if someone wants to reach me, they can reach me there. And I don't I don't know until I hear inside. OK, make that website now. It's not happening, I guess. Yeah. Besides, which my computer is not cooperating anyhow. <laughs> That's what happens, and that's what happens. Though the universe mm -hmm. is, is is guiding us, keeping us in the in the uh, the center lane. Once mm -hmm. we start to you know stay in there and sustain it for a little bit, mm -hmm. by these types of things, you know, my phone's in the shop has been in the shop for a week or been out for a week to ten days. Yeah, and I honestly don't have a problem with it, <laughs> um, but it does have. There's some things that that it comes in handy. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I've kind of gotten away anyway from, you know, like surfing a lot. I haven't been doing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. You mean surfing the internet or surfing Facebook? Yeah, you know, like surfing <laughs> Facebook, surfing YouTube. Uh -huh. yeah. Although I like to watch videos sometimes, depending on what I'm getting into in my head at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I like to watch a lot of your videos and Shanine's, but I've been so busy. I have been barely able to see them because of, you know. Well, that's what happens when you come out and you have all these mixing and you nasty pictures. It's a full-time job. Screen all only, that material. Only one has sent me some pictures. <laughs> he got blocked right away. Yeah. Yeah. You would think they could report people for that stuff. Like, like, I, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like if I, you, I, if you mailed yeah. pictures to somebody to their mailbox uh -huh. and they were lewd pictures you could probably go to the police station and say, hey, this guy just sent me this stuff. Here's the letter. Here's the proof. I don't know him. <laughs> and it's disgusting. I mean, I'm sure they could, you know, stalker, what do they call it, stalker laws and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, That's okay. We're going to get past that too. But I agree with you. I think yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's moving faster than that. And, you know, if you notice like people anyway, like these kids, you see the kids with the, the, the phones and the computers, they're like, you know, everything is like, boom, boom. So it's like a sound bite, boom, boom, uh -huh. boom. You know, they yeah. even have that thing called, uh, I don't know if it's FaceTime. Yeah, FaceTime. But it's, it's the one that's on Apple where you can only send like a 10 second video. I've never actually used FaceTime, so I don't yeah. know. Something like that. My kids use it. Yeah. So it's just like a little blurb, you know, and that's kind of how the information's moving though. Because in a little blurb, you can pick up, you can pick up the whole story and more rather mm -hmm. than having to read 10 paragraphs. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you, but I can't read a lot anymore. I can't either. I, I mean, I used to be such an avid reader. I mean, I had hundreds and hundreds of books and now I can't even pick one up. I only own one book. That's it. And I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I got what rid of it? all my other. Okay. It is. <laughs> I'm just curious. It's called Dear Lover. A Woman's Guide to Enjoying Love's Deep Deepest Bliss by David Data. <laughs> That's it. It's his message from a, a very empowered divine masculine to women. It's very powerful. <laughs> wow. That's, that is powerful. And speaking of books, you want to read some poetry? Okay. 
Find the most erotic, soul sexy one you can find. No, I'm not going to because you might have children watching. No, we're not having children. <laughs> okay, so, plus it's metaphoric anyway. Right, it is metaphoric. Yeah. Um, so I'm reading one that's mediocre. This mm. one is called, no, well, <laughs> this one's called The Sacred and Sublime. Now, um, understand, I have a lisp, so sometimes certain words don't come through right, so I'll do my best. Glistening flowers grow in the valley of my womb, where I am touched by love as the beloved claims my heart. My naked body trembles as I am caressed with fervent hands, melting my desires into gold that flows like honey from my well. The sacred and sublime are kisses that I receive from my lover's hungry lips as ecstasy takes me home. With wild abandon, I scream as my heart bursts into flames from the fiery, fiery pulsations growing in the center of my dancing soul. And in my nakedness, I am carried within my beloved's ardent embrace into an enchanted world where the timeless realm unfolds. Well, that was pretty hot. Thank that you. Was about, that was about a six and a half or seven on the one to 10 hot meter. Well, I have a couple that are 11. <laughs> Let's hear one. No, I'm not reading that one. No. I don't I don't think there's anything there that, that would that would insult anybody. This is we're talking about energetic uh, energetics here. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd have to go in the other room and get get okay. one. We'll wait on you. Oh, seriously? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we got to do this is I was trying to get all that. <laughs> <laughs> we this is soulology. We got to hear one of these. Let's see here. Everybody here's talking about their uh experiences let's see yeah i agree with valerie about this putting your hand on the book and absorbing the information yeah even when i was reading i used to speed really speed read through everything and you can pick up on the uh, the energetic information okay so she's going to uh <clears throat> welcome to soul speaks 5d the 50 shades of gray edition all right. <laughs> she didn't hear me. What'd you say? Nothing. No. I, come I on. said, I said, welcome to Soul Speaks 5D, the 50 Shades of Grey edition. <laughs> All right. Hey, I mean, right. Rumi, Rumi wrote some crazy oh, erotic. <laughs> Solomon in the Bible wrote some crazy. Oh, I know. Songs Beautiful, of Sophia. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't tell us about that in the church, oh, no, did man. they? I mean, it's enough to make you, you know. <laughs> Okay, so this one's called Chalice Well. Chalice Well. Yes. I have been ardently kissed with relentless perfection by the light of effulgent love shining from my beloved's lips. The sublime and electrified current that I feel in my lover's arms invites my wild and authentic nature to dance with ecstatic abandon. Between my quivering thighs is the gateway to transcendence, where the mystery of life exists in never-ending joy. My body, my awakened body undulates from the pulsing vibrations that my lover deeply thrusts into my overflowing well. Dripping with immense power, my beloved takes my hands, leading me into impassioned union with sensual splendor for my soul. Glistening waters of love flow from my chalice well, creating rivers of delight that my beloved floats upon. I am taken into embodied bliss from my beloved's unyielding touch where my radiant heart receives luminous and lustrous gifts. Man. <laughs> so that wasn't an 11. That was probably it. No, that's not the 11. I'm not oh. reading the 11. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to read the 11? No, 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 no. I think these are good, though. These are very Thank you. good. These are all written when I was experiencing Harold Scamos. And I don't think I could write them if I wasn't experiencing that. And so you were experiencing these by yourself and at night or what? Or any time? Um, during the time that I wrote the majority of these poems, it was happening over, I guess, a four to five week period. And I was feeling it all day long every day every night and 
I could were, barely function. <laughs> were you were you like that uh, uh, that movie? Um, you know Billy Crystal and uh, Meg Ryan when she's in that restaurant, <laughs> and then the lady says, "I want whatever <laughs> she's eating. <laughs> yeah. I want whatever she's." So you're out in public and people coming up to you. What 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 is what's your secret? Um, you probably I didn't actually go didn't. Anywhere. I didn't go into public very often during you, this I period. I don't blame you. I was afraid I, I wouldn't be able to drive, so I yeah. I stayed home as much as possible. Sat I sat on the edge of my bed with the computer on a little TV tray table, and as the waves of bliss were going through, I'd just lay back and then mm. get up, write another verse, and mm. so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, too that uh, that whatever you call that the chi, the kundalini, the soulgasmic energy. Uh huh. This. It has to be, I would think, too, because I know I've gone through my own evolution over the last couple of years. I know when it's when I'm being aligned, further aligned and prepared, and then you'll get a dose of it and then more. I mean, it's got to be happening to all of us. It's got to be happening at some level to us all. If it's happening to one or two or three or ten, you know, mm -hmm. so this is going to be good. We're all going to be walking around having multiple orgasms all the time. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be our new form of our new language. Yeah. You'll be at the grocery store and they'll say, attention shoppers, woman in aisle six, have an <laughs> orgasm. If you don't want to be affected, stay out of the aisle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, okay. So now we're, what's changed? Where do we go from here? Are you, uh, you're still doing work online? Uh, you got books, events, anything like that you want to touch um, on? Right now, I don't have any events scheduled. I'm kind of in the boonies where I'm living, but uh, next year I'm being called to go out and uh, leave where I'm at and head off with some suitcases. And uh, where are you going? Go. I don't know yet. <laughs> the divine's going to take me wherever I'm supposed to go in the moment. Well, um, everybody. I, I know I'm going to go to England for sure. That's oh, definitely yeah? on the part of the journey and somewhere in Europe, but I might be getting out to Mount Shasta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to be going to Florida in January. I know, yeah. And so, uh, everybody, it's nice and warm down there, January and February. <laughs> Let's see what we can get into in the beginning of 2020. Mm -hmm. Seriously, if anybody wants to head down there, let's collaborate mm -hmm. on something. And, yeah, if uh, anybody wants to contact me, they can contact me through Messenger. And, uh, you know. Just don't send inappropriate yeah. pictures. yeah. And don't call without messaging first. Right. That, that should <laughs> or be a, asking yeah. if it's okay. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. That should be a that should be a basic you know, protocol, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although, you know, although I understand sometimes people get excited, but <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll, uh, we'll catch up again in a few weeks, or you know, after the first of the year, whatever, and see what's happening. Yeah. Thank you for bearing your soul and sharing your uh, uh, adulterated uh, <laughs> poetry. You're, you're, uh, oh, you're welcome. You're, you're uh, R-rated. Well, it wasn't even R-rated. It's more like PG-14. I'm not kidding. No, it was very good. It was very good. It was very Thank hot. You. you take care. You too. You, peace love. out. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.